Hi everyone, it's Friday the 18th of February and it's 25 past midnight. So, this video is going to be a barricade lamp update video as I've uh, acquired four more over the last month, I think. Something like that, at least a month. So, um, I have got these two here which were bought as separate auctions, auction lots on eBay. And these two, which I got um, in a trade with a friend and fellow collector. So I'm going to start with these. So, nothing special, it's just a Dorman trophy light and a Nissan mono light. Now, the thing is, we agreed to this trade last year, so a good two, maybe three months, I think it was last November. Um, but with Christmas getting in the way. I lost Nemo and there was a few other things that kept getting in the way. If it wasn't something causing me to put off posting, it was something, you know, causing my friend at the other end to put off posting. So anyway, three months later we got with the um, done with the trade. Actually, I think it was about two and a half months. Um, now back then I actually wanted another mono light and traffic light. For, well, actually, I believe it was the monolight I wanted for a reason. And I just decided to give another one of these at home because I do like these um, Dorman lamps. Um, but I can't remember for the life of me what I wanted this one for. That's got a battery now. I can show it working. Here we go. It's not very bright because it's got a crappy battery in it. But it is one of these, you know, standard one with the switch to switch between static and flashing. And this one's got a battery in it as well. It's actually in very nice condition. It's probably one of the few traffic light ones. I've got a few they highlights, I think, in good condition. This is a traffic light one which is in very good condition actually. But uh, I will admit I can't resist a Dortmund, so when one of these is offered up, I'll give it a home. <laughs> Um, yeah, I traded these for one of my vintage traffic cones. He wanted um, a BTM. And as I had three of them, I thought, you know what, I'll let one go. Um, he also included a couple of ever ready torches. Well, there was a torch and a camping lamp. Camping lamp needs some repair. Um, but I've put those away in a cupboard and uh, well, they're not really that interesting. Just typical 1970s torches or flashlights for the Americans. I wonder if we call them torches here as technically they you know they're an electric version of the old flame torch. I wonder if that's why we call them and I wonder why the Americans call them flashlights because you don't really flash them. Not unless you're doing like SOS or something you know Morse code but ordinarily normal use you use it to see where you're going in the dark. Anyway, we'll move on to the next two that we got from eBay. Um, this one was actually from a new seller selling a few other vintage odds and sods. Um, but this one is from a seller that I've bought from before. I can actually give you his eBay name for anyone who might be interested. If I remember, I will link down below as well. 2006 JA89, 100% um, positive feedback and 2937 feedback score. Yep, I was right. I was just double checking the feedback that I, because I said he had 100% positive, but yeah, he has. And I got this one from him. Uh, he's always accurate. I'll try that word again. Accurately describe his lamps. I mean, I've bought several. There's a couple of um, uh, common eBayers that sell lamps that I've bought a number from, never had problems with. Anywho, I can't remember the name of the other one at the minute. I'll have to go through my eBay history, I think. So, this one had been up on eBay, or I've been watching it for a good two weeks. Um, 
around. It was a Saturday actually. I was just bored. It was in my watch list on eBay and I just thought, you know what, I'm buying it. I don't care. I know I've got another one, two, three, four, five of these amber, six of these amber ones actually. 1970s doorman traffic lamps. <laughs> well, I say there's one on the tripod. There's another four on the floor behind you. There's this one and three more. Well, kind of three more up on the shelf. One's actually an Australian Denifi version. Anywho, I'm actually glad I bought this because I didn't know at the time it's static with photo cell. I didn't have one of those in amber. I've gone through every lamp just to double check. This is the only one in amber I've got. The other one I've got, which is static with photo cell, is this rare red one, which I know, I think at least two other collectors that I know of have got a red one. And I actually know at least another one collector that's got the um, very rare blue version. Might be more collectors that have got them, but off the top of my head, I know one of them has. Anyway, yeah, I was actually pretty pleased with that. I've actually got a static with photo cell. Which I can demonstrate with a torch or a flashlight. If I do this, oop, it goes off. On, off, on, <laughs> off. Yeah. I'm really pleased with that. <clears throat> but this is another lamp that if I see it at a decent price, and I've got the cash, obviously. I, I can't resist. I have to fight the urge to buy it because I love this style of lamp. Um, actually, as a child, I was given two of these. And I've liked them ever since. And I have actually got some um, a couple early versions down there as well. Right. This funky little thing. It's an American lamp. Made by Aid Lights. I'll just turn that around so we can uh, see it because all the info is written on here. <clears throat> and I've got the um, listing here. USA road lamp sold as spares repair, no battery to test, come with circuit, no damage to case, ideal for a collector. UK mainland delivery, no highlands. I'm not sure why. So there's some issues posting to the islands or the highlands <clears throat> and abroad no idea anyway let's have a look at this I need to clean my magnifying glass because it's filthy again yeah aid lights um, warning lights made in USA manufactured by checkers industrial safety products Broomfield Co USA it's got the phone number and a website there. Checkers Industrial something. I bet if you just Google Checkers Industrial Safety Products, you'd find it. Which I think it's just checkersindustrial.com from the looks of it. There's a mark or something on the case there. Ooh, perhaps I should have turned that off before turning that round that way. But yeah. Um, this did come with the... Um, stem with the two LEDs on because this is, is an LED version um, but that should have plugged into a little circuit board and that would have gone at the bottom here because right there is a little hole where you would have poked like a little stick or something in there to turn it on and off that bit was the bit that was missing um, and some of the battery contacts were missing as well but uh, me being the hoarder of little electronic knickknacks that I am well, I say a hoard, I mean, there's people out there with, like, shitloads more electronic bits than I've got. I've just got a tiny little cupboard with a few pots in. But anyway, I did put some of my bits to good use. Toggle switch, so I could turn it on and off. And a AA battery pack. Um, just a 2 one. So I've got two AA's in there. Just flip the switch on, flip the switch off. Works great. Pain in the ass to solder wires to the epoxy battery pack. But I got there in the end. Um, I did put a little 
diode in line with it to drop the voltage a bit. Could do with a um, current limiting resistor, really. But um, I need to research what would be a suitable one for this. Then I'll swap that diode out for um, a current limiting resistor. But for now, it works. I'll be driving the LEDs a bit too hard, which is why I want the uh, resistor. It's a bit beat up as well. That, that break in the body there, that's what um, the damage he was talking about. Which you can see in the photos. I mean, he takes multiple photos. So you can see all this. He takes photos of the insides and whatnot. <clears throat> but I'll tell you what. That switch only just fitted through the body. That's quite thick plastic. Um, I think it's what they call polycarbonate, so I'm actually surprised that broke there. Did someone get a bit too forceful with a screwdriver or something, you know, to pop it off, maybe? I think the battery pack is stopping um, this from clipping on properly this end. So I've put it at this end where the switch is. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, those double A battery holders are um, just a bit taller than a D cell, I think. Yeah. Mind you, I've actually got a battery pack on the floor that I could probably steal the resistor from if I really wanted to. I think it came from an old set of um, lights or something, Christmas lights. Yeah, it's just hidden in the corner there. Or maybe I could find out what type of resistor that is and perhaps order one or, you know, just research it. I'm usually staring at the computer screen, so. Right, that is it for this video. Um, yep, so I don't know how long it'll be before I'll do another barricade lamp video I tend to do these as and when I've got like you know two or three in at least otherwise I don't think they're worth it's not worth doing it every time I get one lamp in it would be like a 10 minute video <laughs> this has only been about 10 minutes now so um, next video though will be computer related um, which I'll, I'm hoping to film in the morning when I've had breakfast so a bit of a tidy up in the kitchen to make some room and uh, I've got loads of computers that I want to go through and decide on what I really want to keep and what I want to get rid of because I've got too many of them and as much as I like desktops they take up a lot of space um, I've got a few of the older ones that I want to keep for definite I've got a few in here that I'm undecided on at the minute um, anyway, actually, I'm going to. I know I'm going to get rid of one of them down there. At least, <laughs> well, two of them down here. I will be getting rid of. I'm not going to show you because it'll ruin it for the next video. If you want to know what they are? You'll have to watch the next video. <laughs> Isn't that what YouTubers do? You know, to get you to watch the next video. <clears throat> I know it's a dick move. <laughs> I'll give you a quick peek down here. That's all it is. Just a Dell and a mesh case and something else sitting behind it. I can't remember what it is. Um, and plus all the Dells I've got in the kitchen. Really what I want to try to do is keep small computers. And to be honest, if I could actually build one of these Windows 98 machines I've got into one of those old older, um, smaller Dell machines, I'd probably do that. <laughs> um, I might look into that tomorrow as well, see if it's possible. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye!